Hey students, this is your hints video for lesson 3.2, which is angles of triangles. Um, so I've got a few problems that I'm going to solve with you today. The first one is number nine. We're going to use the idea that we know the three interior angles of a triangle add up to 180. And we're going to write an equation here. So I don't want you to try to solve these in your head. I want you to write out an equation. We're practicing our equation solving skills as well as what we're learning about triangles here. Um, so let's see, uh, negative 11 plus 73 would be 62. So 2x plus 62 equals 180. These are our three angles of the triangle added up to 180. I'm gonna go ahead and subtract 62 from both sides and I get 2x equals uh, 118, and then I'm gonna divide both sides by two, and I get x equals 59. But I'm not quite done. I know that this angle here, that's x, is 59 degrees, and then I, for this angle over here, um, over here, I have to do 59 minus 11, so that's 48 degrees, and this angle we're given is 73 degrees. Next, I have an example where um, I have angle measurements of x, 2x, and 45. I'm going to solve this the same way. x plus 2x plus 45 equals 180. I can simplify this. 3x plus 45 equals 180. We'll subtract 45 from both sides. And we get 3x equals 135. We'll divide both sides by 3. And we get x equals 45. This time we're just asked to find the value of x, so that can be our final answer. On our next few problems, we're asked to find the measure of the exterior angle. So if we remember that any exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles that are not adjacent to that exterior angle. So not this one here, not that one, but the other two. So um, we can write an equation here that 2a is equal to, I better erase here so I can see what's going on. 2a is equal to 44 plus this angle here, which if we see this arrow is pointing in here, that's a plus 10. So we can simplify that to 2a equals a plus 54. We can subtract a from each side and we get a equals 54. Now it didn't ask me to solve for a though, it asked me for to find the measure of the exterior angle. So this angle, erase what my little mark there, this angle right here, this exterior angle is 2a. So we need to do two times 54, so 108 degrees. All right, our next problem says that the ratio of the interior angle measures of a triangle is two to three to five. So we don't know what those angles are, but we know that there's this ratio that exists. So what we can do is say that um, if we multiplied each of these numbers, by any number, that ratio would still exist, right? So like two to three to five is the same ratio as four to six to 10. We can multiply by any number. We're gonna multiply by x, so we're gonna say two x plus three x plus five x. So um, all three of these angles, because they are interior angles, if we add them up, they'll sum to 180 degrees. So we can simplify this, 10x equals 180, and then we can divide by 10 to solve for x, x equals 18. Now, what, is the, what are the angle measures? I'm gonna let you finish that part of them, but one of the angles is 2x, so we'll take two times 18, one of the angles is 3x, one of the angles is 5x. All right, our next one, we have this construction project, the support, for a window uh, air conditioning unit forms this triangle and an exterior angle. So we see this little shelf here and here is the exterior angle right here that we're talking about. 
So we need to figure out what is the measure of that particular exterior angle. So we know that the exterior angle adds up to these two interior angles, right? The 90 degree angle and 3x, but we don't know what 3x is. So that's not going to help us just yet. First, what we need to do is solve for x. So we know that the three interior angles, 3x plus 5x minus 6 plus our 90 degree angles adds to 180 degrees. So I'm going to have you finish this one on your own. Using that equation, you're going to figure out what x is equal to. Once you find out what x is equal to, you should be able to solve for this exterior angle either by adding up 3x and 90 degrees. You could get the exterior angle that way. Or you could get the exterior angle by finding out what's 5x minus 6 and finding the angle that's supplementary to that. So those are your choices. All right, and then these last three problems I have for you, you're just determining whether the statement is sometimes, uh, always, sometimes, or never true. So the first question is, um, given three angle measures, you can construct a triangle. And the key here is they don't tell you what the angle measures are, right? So if you had three angle measures like 90 degrees, um, 80 degrees, and 70 degrees, for example, I can kind of sketch this here, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, that's just a little bit less than 90 degrees, huh? So I don't, I'm not able to make a triangle here. Um, well, I, I could make a triangle if I connect this, but this would be a really small angle up here. It would be like a 10 degree angle. So I cannot construct a triangle that has a 90 degree angle, an 80 degree angle, and a 70 degree angle. But if I was given three angle measures that do add to 180, I could. So this one would be sometimes for that reason. All right, my next one says the acute interior angles of a right triangle are complementary. So I'm going to just sketch a couple of right triangles here. Make one kind of long and skinny. Okay, so if I have some right triangles here, um, the acute interior angle, so we're not talking about the right angle, but the two acute angles, like these two or these two, and are they, are they always gonna be complementary? Well, we know that the three angles add up to 180 degrees, and if it's a right triangle, the other angle is 90 degrees, so that means, yes, the sum of the other two angles must be uh, complementary because they must add up to 90 degrees, so that one is always. All right, and then our last question says, a triangle has more than one vertex with an acute exterior angle. So I'm going to draw an obtuse triangle here. Not a very good one, but it's an obtuse triangle. Here we see this one obtuse angle. And if I sketch the um, exterior angle, I can see that that is an acute exterior angle. The other two exterior angles are obtuse. So because a triangle can only have one obtuse angle and still have the three angles add up to 180 degrees, that means it's only possible to have one um, exterior angle that's acute um, at the most. If it's not an obtuse triangle, then it's not going to have any acute exterior angles, but this is not possible at all.